Hey guys, Richard here. So in this review, I'm going to talk to you about Canva. Now, Canva is an excellent graphic design tool, which I use pretty much every day. Now, I do a lot of thumbnails with Canva, as well as posts for my social media. So I find it an excellent resource for my business. So I will take you inside. I'll show you exactly what type of graphics that you can actually create with this. And then we'll talk a little bit about the pricing and the various plans you can get with this particular tool. So guys, if you're interested in these types of reviews, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, at any point during this review, if you're interested in checking out Canva, you'll see a link in the description below, and it'll take you straight over to this page. It's important to note that on the front end, this is completely free, and there's a lot you can do inside with the free membership. So all you need to do is go ahead and sign up. It's super quick and then you jump inside and this is the application that you'll see once you're inside. So the easiest thing to do is before you get started, come over to this learn section here and just look at these various courses on Canva. Now there is lots and lots of tutorial videos on here. So if you go through these, you're really not gonna go wrong as far as how to use the actual software itself. Although it is pretty, pretty easy. On the top here, we have our template section where all the different templates you can use are actually listed. So you've got social media templates, personal type templates like cards and invitations, business templates you can use for presentations and websites, marketing, education and trending. And you can go through these depending on what type of business and what type of application you want to use for these. I tend to use a lot of the social media type templates as I, for when I post to platforms like Pinterest. And as I said, this is super easy to use. You can go through the features and it's going to tell you the various features you can get within the application. Then there's the learn and then there's the pricing piece here. So basically what you have is all of these different options for your designs. If I click on these three, you'll see there's so many different options that you can have to actually start designing graphics for your social media. So you can come up here and actually you can refine this a little bit. So if I just put something like YouTube on here, it was going to show me all the different designs for YouTube. Now, if you look on the left-hand side here under the filters, you can see YouTube thumbnails, YouTube channel art, videos, Instagram posts. So if I just look at something like a thumbnail, which is something I use quite often, then you have all these different design options for the thumbnails. Now, every single one of these you can edit as much as you want and change everything on them this just gives you a look and feel and a layout of the particular template so let's just jump down and have a look at um, let's say this one here because it's nice and simple just click on the template that you want to go and edit and then everything on here you can basically edit as much as you want now on the left hand side here is where all of your different options are so these are alternative templates you can use there's some elements you can have on here such as lines and shapes various types of graphics all you need to do is click on the graphic and it'll come straight over to your template you can start sizing everything within your template and actually positioning so very, very easy to select. You have some videos on here as well. Again, if you just do a one click on the video, it'll bring that over to your template automatically. Not that good on thumbnails, obviously, but when you're using Pinterest pins, these are very good on Pinterest pins because Pinterest allow you to post videos. Then you have audio you can add to them and you can have various types of charts, tables, certain types of frames. If you want to bring a frame over, and start using that to frame a certain object. And I can bring that to the back and I have these grids. So you can see everything on here is very, very flexible. I have these options up here when I can start looking at editing the actual image itself. So if I wanted to click on this, for instance, this options up here to edit the image, I can crop it, I can flip it. Let's just flip it vertically, for instance. And we'll do that again. I can use the crop feature. I can just hit edit and there's all different edit functions on the left hand side here. It allows me to change the brightness. I can change the filter. I can change the photogenic look and feel of the photo. I can use various mock-ups and add the mock-ups to the screen here. And you can see that I got added into that mock-up there. There is a lot of flexibility on these particular templates that you can go ahead and use. This position allows me to basically start looking at various aspects of this and changing the position of them. So as I'm creating my various layers on the templates, I can start bringing these front and backwards, aligning to the top, for instance. So that's just gone up to the top. So it changes the position of the particular element that I've selected. I have this copy style function here. So if I come over and I want to select this writing, 
press copy style and then I want this attractive to be also be a yellow that allows me to just copy across the style to this element as well which is really useful I have this transparency mode here so whatever I select again all very flexible so I can make that more or less transparent as you can see there I can search for links and then I can lock the various elements as well once I've started to edit them. I can also duplicate things very quickly, super quick to duplicate. And I can delete elements as well very, very quickly. So you can see this is why I like this so much. It's very, very flexible, very easy to use. And once you've finished, you just download it and you can actually download it as a PNG, a JPEG, PDF. You can print it as a PDF or an mp4 video if it's a video or you can download it as a gif which you could use on social media such a lot of flexibility here guys as well as you can also share this straight to your social media as well so you can share this to twitter to facebook to instagram you just need to connect up your social media accounts to your main Cam canva account and it allow you to share straight away I shared a lot of stuff to Pinterest because as I said, I use this to create pins. So you can go through all these various options. You can have presentations. You can use these for social media. Lots of video options on here. I can do various types of videos like Facebook videos, messages, mobile videos, YouTube videos. I can use it for a YouTube ad, Instagram reels, which is very popular these days. TikTok videos, I can use the TikTok video functionality. If I just come over here, it gives me the right size for TikTok. Also on the pro version, you can actually resize these templates for various types of media. So if I wanted to resize this for a Facebook post, for instance, or a poster, it will allow me to start resizing the various images that I create. But on the TikTok, I just need to click on one of these options and it will bring that over and I can start utilizing that for TikTok videos and have maybe my own video on here. So I can come up here and press upload and then upload my own video to this. This can then be put on TikTok directly. So this can be utilized for a lot of different things within your business, depending on the type of social media and the type of marketing you actually want to do. So there is different levels of account here. If I just go up to the pricing itself, there is three levels of pricing on here. The free version is 250,000 free templates, 100 plus design types, hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics. Invite members to your team, calibrate and comment in real time, and five gigabyte cloud storage and then this is the pro version that i actually have i have more than one person on my particular account which is a great benefit because you can have up to five people this works out it's about two pound a person per month the monthly fee is 10.99 or you can have it yearly at 100 pound and again there's all the different ben benefits there's many more images and photos you could utilize many more different types of premiums and templates this is good if you do this on a regular basis and you're posting to social media on a regular basis and you want a wide variety of templates and assets that you can use if you're not going to use this on a regular basis you can just go ahead and grab the free version and there's a lot of variety in this free version to keep you going for a very long time you also have this enterprise version here which is 24 pound a month that's where you can add 25 people to the account so guys i hope that was useful to you i really like canva i use it all the time for my thumbnails for posting to my various other social media accounts great variety of templates on here super easy to use and they've got something for anybody and whatever field your business is in you'll be able to find the link to canva in the description below so go ahead and check it out my name is richard darby this is school of nomads until next time, take care.